gloves that protect against chemicals and microorganisms must meet the requirements of European standard EN374. In November 2016, it was significantly modified. This update, the first in 10 years, takes into account better test methods. What are the changes? First of all, the name. It not only indicates an update, it shows that the new standard was created by the European Committee for Standardization, together with the International Standards Organization. Thus, it applies in Europe and in all countries that are members of ISO. To determine if gloves meet the standard, they must be tested. The tests have also changed. In the permeation test, three specimens taken from the palm, or weakest area, are exposed to chemicals. Breakthrough times are measured and the lowest result is used. The new standard also includes tests on the glove if it is longer than 40 centimeters. Moreover, the list of chemicals tested has grown from 12 to 18. And there's a brand new test for degradation. It measures changes in the glove's physical properties after exposure to a chemical testing both puncture resistance and weight change. The old standard only recognized protection against bacteria and fungi. The new standard adds a test for viruses as well. Three types of gloves are determined and indicate the amount of chemicals for which a minimum required breakthrough time is achieved from the defined list of 18. Type C shows at least level 1 performance or more than 10 minutes against at least one chemical on the list. Type B shows at least level 2 performance or more than 30 minutes against at least three chemicals on the list. Type A shows at least level 2 performance or more than 30 minutes against at least six chemicals on the list. The beaker icon used in the old standard has been eliminated. Finally, if a glove passes the viral penetration test, the word virus is added under the microorganism pictogram. When using an Ansel glove, you can be certain that you will be compliant and your workers safe.